Hi, I'm going to show you one of the great new features in Google Forms. You can now have people or students, teachers, upload files directly within the form into your drive. This is something we've all been waiting for and it's finally here and it works great. So the first thing you have to do is create a Google Form and I've created one here. And when you add a new question, so you hit the plus button, for your question type, choose File Upload. When you first start that up, you get the let respondents upload files to Drive. Keep in mind, it's all within the same domain. And the reason this happens is when people upload through Google Forms any kind of file, it actually puts it into their Drive and then transfers ownership to you, the person who created the form. So it's actually using Drive as opposed to directly just going from the form into your Drive. It makes a copy in their Drive and then shares it with your drive and then makes you owner. The only way you can make someone an owner of a file in your drive is if they're in the same domain. So something to consider when you're doing this, you do have to be in the same domain in order to use the upload files. So we click the continue button and you can create your question. And here's where you get to do a couple of the settings. You can set the maximum file size anywhere from one meg to 10 gigs. You can also set what kind of file you're going to allow. By default, the all comes up, but if you wanted to select, maybe you only want a document or an image, you can also do that. For right now, I'm just going to leave them all on. I'll click apply. So my question has been made. I've chosen the types of files and how big it can be. All I have to do now is send this out to my students. So I can go to the preview. That will give me my new web link. And by sharing that with a student, once again, in the same domain, it's really important that you're doing that, they will get this type of a question. So I'm going to go ahead and I am in a student account right now. I'm going to click Add a File, and it gives me choices of I can upload something from my desktop or my workspace or from my drive. I'm going to go ahead, I have a file on my drive, so I'm going to click My Drive, and I'm going to share this PNG, select, shows which files I'm going to upload, and when I hit Submit, I'm going to jump into my drive and you'll see what happens. So this is the student account, they click Submit. Within the drive, it's taking that file right now, and it's making a copy, and it's going to forward that into the new account, which would be the teacher's account. So as you can see right here, I've got this file and it just disappeared because that was a previous one. Here's the one we're making right now. It makes a copy of it, puts my name on it, and this account's name is Jeremy Test Student. But if I were to refresh again, you'll notice that those files will start to disappear. And the reason is Google made a copy of this file in my drive, renamed it, shared it with the creator of the form, and then removes it from my drive because I no longer need it anymore. So now I'll go back to my teacher account. So here's the form creator. I now have two responses because I, I did one earlier. And then here they are listed so I can see them. So I can also now go into my drive as the teacher, the creator. And every time that you make a form, it creates a folder specific to that form. And my form was called File Upload in Forms. So when I click on that folder, I will see the two questions that I asked. The first one was upload a file to me. The one I just showed you how to create was test upload. And if I open that folder, all of the files that those students or teachers, the people who I sent the form to, all of theirs will be up here named by what they originally named it along with their name so I know who submitted. So that's the easiest way to find anything that I've uploaded, that someone has uploaded to me. The other way is within the form itself, I could click directly on responses, click on the files that they've uploaded to me, or if you're one of the people like I am, I like to use the spreadsheet. When I click on the spreadsheet, and I'd already created it, it gives me a link directly to those files. So here's my first question, upload a file to me, and the one that I just showed you was test upload. If I were to click on that, it will take me directly into that file. So there's the file. Pretty easy, pretty quick. It'll be really nice, um, but keep in mind you do have to be in the same domain. So once again, 
how to use the new question file upload in Google Forms. I hope that helps.